Sanhedrin Daf Mem Aleph. We we're talking about the Sanhedrin, and a fascinating question comes up. When did we stop judging death penalty cases? Was it the Chorban Habayit once the Mikdash was destroyed? Was it another factor once the Sanhedrin was dissolved? Or something else? So the Gemara says the Mikdash was around, the Sanhedrin was around, and still we stopped judging cases of the death penalty. And the Rambam explains in Perik Yudalad and Hilcha Sanhedrin that once the Sanhedrin was relocated and it was no longer in the Makom, in its Makomo, which is by the Beit HaMikdash, then it lost its complete authority. And it can no longer judge cases where there's a death penalty. So interestingly enough, it's not dependent on the Migdash necessarily. It's not dependent on the existence of the Sanhedrin necessarily. It's the Sanhedrin in its Makomo, in its right place. And once it was no longer in the right place, then we lost the power to go ahead and have a proper case of the death penalty. So that's how the Gemara explains in our Gemara, Daf Mem Aleph, that when the Sanhedrin was removed from the Migdash area, it lost its high level of authority that it had, and that's why it's been codified. And it's Hashem, we're going to have a Migdash back, we'll have the Sanhedrin back, and then everything will be back in its place in the full sense of the word Shalom.